clarinet addict here and today I'm going to be giving you guys some helpful tips and tricks for your next big audition. So let's get down to business. First, we're going to start months and months ahead in advance for your audition because you want to be as prepared as you can get. So as soon as the organization gets out the sheet music that you need to have for the audition, start practicing that day. So you're going to want to practice at a minimum of 15 minutes a day that sheet music every single day and if it scales include your scales in that 15 minutes if you're having a lot of difficulties learning your sheet music or understanding what some of the notes or some of the ornamentations mean you can always ask your band director for years and years and years my old band director would stay hours and hours after school with us working or for all region all state all district and I mean hours, like we would get out of school at 3 o'clock and we wouldn't leave there until about 8 o'clock. So we worked our butts off on this. If it's possible, find the piece of sheet music online. Now it may be a struggle for some people. I have an example here of what my region put out for sheet music. It was just band audition music, high school clarinet set B. I mean, this is an excerpt from a clarinet piece and I did not know about it until a couple years later whenever I actually bought this piece of music which is has these two excerpts in it. So if you have a piece of music and you're like, I'd really like to buy it online but I have no idea how to look it up, ask your band director if they might know or they can email the person who set up the sheet music and be like, where'd you get this from? My kids want to know. It helps a whole lot whenever you get to listen to the sheet music and know how it's supposed to go. And if you can't find it online, have someone of an upper level play it for you so you know how it's supposed to go. You need to practice your music to the point where you know it by heart. Like it's in your memory, you're singing it all the time. Another way to help out in those early months is whenever you're in the shower, hum it or sing it because I did this for the longest time. Even our band pieces that we had playing in the concert and stuff, I would whistle them, I would hum them. I was able to imprint that song, that whole piece in my brain. So I know it for the rest of my life and I can whistle it to you. Now we're gonna move on to the days before the audition. Do mock auditions. You can always have your friends, your family members, your parents help you or even your teachers. All right, Mima. I've been practicing for months, and I need you to listen to this. Get back in here. I need to play this for you. Are you ready? comfortable you are playing in front of people and playing that piece the more comfortable you're gonna be in that audition room now you're gonna step up your game to where you're practicing hours and hours and hours in one single day on this piece and for the audition you want to make sure you have everything perfect because you're gonna be competing against tons and tons of other kids so you want to make sure that you're playing it to the best of your abilities also, in these last couple of days before your audition, you're going to want to work on your long tones, and that is playing just whole notes, different registers, and your scale, and working on your tone, because you're wanting to want to swoop the judges away with just how heaven flies out of your horn whenever you play it. You need to find out who it is that's judging you. If you've been auditioning for an honor band for a while, you get to know the judges. So you'll know, oh, this person's laid back. Oh, this person wants this and that in the audition. Oh, this and that and this and that. What? I really wish I would have done this because my first three years of auditioning for All District was this really laid back guy, really nice, and we would talk during the audition and just be so friendly, and he really liked my playing and he would always always place me in high chairs and I got first chair my junior year in district and then my senior year he didn't judge clarinets it was this new girl never seen her face before she put me seventh chair and I was next to a clarinetist who slap tongued let me just show you what it means to slap tongue <laughs> I have no idea how people do it, but it's the most hideous sound you'll ever hear coming out of a horn. But it would be, it would, it would have helped me a lot 
if I would have known who my judge was and what she expected out of me. Now we're going to be moving on to the day of the audition. Eat a healthy breakfast. There were several times where I went not even eating breakfast and during the whole audition thing before I was starving. It makes you feel so much better whenever you eat a healthy breakfast. I mean eggs and vegetables or fruit. So make sure you're feeling really good, very energized for your audition and it'll help you out a lot. You're gonna wanna find your practice room wherever it's designated and you're gonna warm up slowly. You're not gonna jump into it and be like, flabam, fly to the bumblebee. It's gotta be like, Mary had a little lamb. Because you're gonna wanna warm up your tone, make it the best that you can do. Another thing that you need to do in that practice room is to not listen to other players because it has messed up with me and other of my colleagues. If you listen to someone else playing and they are playing it really fast, a lot faster than you, you're gonna get discouraged and you're gonna say, oh, I guess I need to speed that up too. And you're gonna take it at a tempo that you've never taken it at or that you've tried and you suck at it. So try it your best not to listen to the other players and do not get discouraged very important because it's costed people auditions. Before you get into the audition room, you're going to be sweaty, anxious, palms clammy, and it's you're just going to feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. And what I've done in the past couple of years is meditate before I actually go in there. And what I do is I'd usually stand out of the door, stand outside of the door, um, close my eyes and just breathe in and out and in and out and literally think happy, th happy thoughts and just it helps so much. You have no idea. You may think, oh, that's stupid. You shouldn't do that. Or, Meditating is for goons. Well, it really helps and don't bash it until you try it because you're going to do it for the rest of your life with auditions. While you're here, you might as well make new friends. These are people that are going to be auditioning to tons and tons of honor bands that you are also going to be auditioning for. So you make chair friends and then see them at the next honor band and the next honor band and they might even go to college with you. Hello, friends for life, especially if it's the same instrument as you, like a clarinetist. You're gonna be needing to stay hydrated and drinking water. Bring a water bottle with you. You'll definitely need it. Don't drink out of those stupid water fountains because you're the cool kid with the water bottle. No sodas, no sodas, no sodas water. Now we're going to talk about the time of the audition as in you in the audition room ready to have heaven come out of your horn. Before you get into that audition room make sure that you tune. It's very important to tune. You don't want to go in there and be flat or be really really sharp. You want to be close to in tune or in tune. It would be very good because those judges have been hearing instruments and music for almost their whole life and they know what's in tune and what's not without a tuner. So you want to tune. You're going to want to play a couple scales in the room. They'll ask you, go ahead and warm up, or would you like to get adjusted to the room? Do it. Don't say no. I want to jump right into it. Because the acoustics in rooms are totally different depending on how they're built. So you're going to want to play, listen to your tone, make sure that you're playing the best of your ability, and then move on. Do not rush. We already covered this in the last section. Whenever you're listening to people, you're going to be like, oh, I need to play it fast or else I'm not going to get in. No, fastness does not mean better. You can play something really fast and it'd be the crappiest thing you've ever played in your life. Or you can play it slow and at a comfortable speed and it'd be the most beautiful thing ever. So don't rush. Play it at the tempo that you've been practicing at because you know it the best by that tempo. And lastly, cross your fingers that you nailed the audition and that you did a great job. So I hope all of these tips and tricks helped you guys out in some way. I hope you enjoyed the little videos that I made to go along with it. It was the first time of me doing that. So I thought it'd be fun to mix it up a little and make it a little bit more entertaining. But if you have any tips or tricks that you want to suggest, leave them down in the comments and you guys can help each other out for your next audition. Make sure to like and subscribe and like my Facebook page. I also have a spread shirt and I just made it a couple days ago. So I'm still getting adjusted to it. I worked so hard on the picture that I have on there right now. It took me ages because I'm really bad at cursive but I wanted it to be my handwriting. So I had this little tablet thing and I was able to write it out 
I literally spelt clarinet addict probably 300 times in cursive. And then I decided on one of those that I felt like was the best looking. And if you guys want to support me or help me out, the shirts are going to be like $17.90. So like $18. And they say clarinet addict on them. You can choose whatever color you want. And that link is also going to be down in the description below. I hope you guys have an awesome time practicing and good luck on your next audition.